Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Red Rings Writer, your host, and today we will be doing a whole new style of game playing. And we will be doing it through Elden Ring, because I've already almost beaten everything. I think I've got two bosses left. Maybe? I don't know. I, I, I just running around at this point trying to figure it out. But, uh, the new style of play we will be doing is, uh, we're calling it Let's Play Hacked Games. Now, it's a new series idea of people who, for, for, for those of you who are bored watching everyone just go through and play the same old Just Get Good. Now, I understand Get Good. Get Good does not mean that you suck at the game. What it means is you need to actually practice. Trust me, I've beaten Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Sekiro, Bloodborne, all of that. I've beaten almost all the bosses in Elden Ring. That's the way it works. I get it. Get Good is not a fucking disgrace. It's a, hey, let's go get this good together. Anyways, all the games that we'll be playing in this specific thing are games that I've already shown you on the channel, or games that I've already beat, uh, such as Sekiro, uh, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, um, I've beaten all those games, uh, Steel Rising, which we just posted not long ago, uh, Souls, Souls Rising, Souls, 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 Solstice or something like that. I can't remember the name of that game. I don't like it very much. We might play it with cheese just to make it more fun. I don't know. Um, so, here are the rules for this specific title of playthrough. We will not be using infinite health. There will be no infinite... N number one, no infinite health. Number two, no infinite levels. Number three, if a cheat has a multiplier, it cannot go past times three. Number four, no unlimited money. Number five, no cheating character stats. Now, in Elden Ring, Dark Souls style, Souls-like games, you understand what I mean. We can't go in and we can't adjust our strength stat to 99, even though we have the ability to. Why, why would we do that? Like, cool, sure, you've got a meta character. Is it really worth it, though? Um, after that, we have the... Let's see. Number five was no cheating character stats. Number six, no one-hit kill slash god modes. That means we can't turn on the ignore hit god mode. And we cannot turn on one hit, one kill. It's I think they're pointless. I think they're boring. I don't like doing them, so that's that. Uh, after that, we have no unlimited XP. And this goes for games like Sekiro, where you kill a guy and you get XP to get skill points to get farther in the, game, in the skill tree itself. But in this... For Elden Ring specifically, there is a cheat we will be using called Rune uh, that we have called Edit Runes. And what it does is you can add as many runes as allowed in the game without it crashing before, or uh, as many runes as you want, and you can level up as you want. We won't be using that specific um, cheat because it falls under two categories. No unlimited money and no unlimited XP because we use them as XP and as money. So we won't be using that cheat whatsoever. Uh, number eight, the game must be played on the hardest difficulty the whole game. So that means the whole game we will be playing it as in the hardest way possible. No, screw. The build. Uh, sorry. The build we have the idea for for this game is going to be a quality strength build. I will be building him. Are building this specific character to be a strength quality build character and I don't know what exactly we're gonna use weapon wise so far but I have an idea I'm thinking of using the GOT sword and or the guts sword one of the two um, uh, rule number nine uh, going back to the rules though rule number nine is stealth cheats cannot always be activated that means I can't run through the game with just having stealth on the whole time we have a stealth mode. All it does is tell the AI not to look at you and you can't attack you, right? We won't be using that. We will be using a cheat called um, uh, freeze enemy positions, and we will only be using it on specific enemies. We won't be using it on any other kind of enemy in the entire game. Only one specific style and type of enemy. That is it. It's the little bugs with the balls. That's all we're going to be using on. No one else. That's it. And then rule number 10 is for me and for you. If you comment, I promise that I will answer said comment, either in a video or in a message back to you on the comment that you've posted on my video. 
if you want me to do a specific game with this style of play or with with the, with cheats show you how to get the cheats and also play it with these rules or rules that you have made up for it specifically I will all you have to do is shoot me the name of the game the list of the rules you want me to do or the cheat system you'd like me to use or show you how to use I will mess up my computer so you don't have to now moving forward we're gonna get this out of the way this is what our cheat system looks like everybody say hello to Wii Mod. Wii Mod is what we're gonna be using for the entire gameplay of this game we'll be using the following cheats and only the following cheats freeze enemy positions we will only be using it on one specific type of enemy I will showcase the fly up fly down and enable fly mode that is will be shown I will not use it throughout the game I don't like it the set game speed won't go above three and that's only if we are traveling across the entirety of the map trust me I know all right, we will be using freeze daytime. We will not be using damage multiplier or super one hit kills because those will fall underneath the category of a rule. We won't be using this because that falls under any of these because we don't want to edit our arcane faith, intelligence, dexterity, strength, endurance, mind, vigor, level, stamina, FP, and HP. We can't do that. It's part of the stats. If we add, if we if we mess with those, we mess with the the rules, and the rules don't work no more. We won't be using god mode or unlimited HP. We will be using unlimited FP stamina we will be using zero weight we will have 100 percent drop weight it turns into a total hassle later on so we're gonna leave it on for now i don't know if i'm gonna still have it later but it's a giant pain in the ass later here's our stealth mode we will not be using this the entire game we won't we'll be using it for occasionals but we will not be using it the entire game defense multiplier we won't be using and immune to all negative stats we will be using add rooms we can't use because it's part of the rules Rules multiplier will be stuck at three. It will not go above three. It will not go below three. I won't even touch it. It's gonna sit there like that. That's it. No, no runes lost on death. Now what this does is it actually drops whatever runes you have currently when you die. But you also keep the runes. You keep the same amount in your inventory. So now there's two different spots with the same amount of runes. And I will show show it. So that you see it. I will go and kill something and then die. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, we won't be picking up our dropped runes from our deaths. Because it would uh, uh, end up multiplying our runes times one. So say if we've got a hundred and we've died. We'll still have a hundred when we come back to life. But there will be a hundred on the ground where we died. We will not be picking up the 100 on the ground because then we would have 200 and it would not be fair. Um, unlimited item usage we will be doing. That will be happening. Uh, yeah, it will be happening. Uh, there was another mod I wanted to use. And I think I can still pull it up in time. It's going to allow us to mod, or not mod, um, it's going to allow us to, do, 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 what's it called, uh, it'll allow us to, yeah, uh, fuck, uh, uh, it, 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 English is not my favorite fucking strong suit today dear god um what it does is it's gonna it's gonna let us upgrade upgrade weapons upgrade stat or, or upgrade our weapons our armor and our shield and craft and shit without actually having to have the damn stuff to do it which is super nice now it doesn't work on your ashes it doesn't work on ashes at all. It only works on when when you when you go to the blacksmith and you have him upgrade your weapons and stuff. It's the only time it works. Trust me, I've tried on Ashes of War. It doesn't work like that. Um. So, just to showcase what the hell I'm doing. Okay, these are all the cheats I use on a regular basis. 
here. Go to Elden Ring. I'm just gonna try and launch Steam. We don't care. Alright. Normally I would use Plitch. Now I don't like Plitch as much as I like Wiimod, alright? But for this particular purpose, we will be using ignore smithing materials and ignore crafting materials. That's it for this particular cheat engine. We will be using these two mods, these two mods only. That's it. Um, that's the only ones we will be using. And just to prove it to you, it's going to sit right here. Still just like that. It won't move. Um, our Wii mod will probably shrink down a little bit more. Just to show that that's all the cheats I will be using currently. I'm trying to get everything to the right size so that it's not interfering with the game itself. Is a bit of a pain in the ass. So bear with me, folks. All right. We'll see how that looks afterwards. So let's start this new game. All right. And no, I have not beaten on my PC. I've beaten it on my Xbox. Stone Sword Key. Alright, that's it. Here we go. All day. Look at that. 100% easy peasy lemon skull wheezy. Alright, we are 12 minutes in. We're taking. Oh my god. Done. Choose base template. Okay, done. Twelve minutes in. Let's get started here. All right. So we've already. Uh, this game has been out for so long that no one really needs to see the uh, beginning. Beginning anymore. So, let's, uh, <laughs> we're so zippy. All right, so I know the gist of the beginning. We're just going to go through here and just... Uh, I hate this particular I hate that particular weapon we're gonna attempt to kill this guy in one go it's I know for a fact we're not gonna win but I'm gonna try <laughs> oh well, nice try. Yay! Let's go. Come on. Skip, 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 skip. I want to get this game going. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, 
let's get this started. So this is what I mean by the uh, we can't use we can't be picking up stuff we have. Uh, I don't have super damage on. All right, so you see how we have 33 rooms right now? Okay. If I let this guy kill me. Come on. Really? So, one, I don't have unlimited health on it, as you can see. Two, watch our rooms. It says 33 rooms, right? We die. We still have 33 rooms, but, but, if I come up here, our rooms are right there. And if we pick them up, we get 33 rooms. So we won't be picking up the runes that we drop from death. It's not worth it. It's well, it's worth it in the long run, but it kind of goes against the rules of no unlimited. It goes against the rules of, of no unlimited stamina and uh, or no unlimited money and stuff. So. We do have unlimited heals. <laughs> and unlimited heals, not unlimited health. See, there's a difference. So, I just, honestly, I'm just trying to get to the boss that's up ahead as fast as I can. I want to get out of here as fast as I can. I just want the, want some runes so I can at least be able to level up a little bit before we continue forward. Boss fight just overhead. Like I honestly would play Elden Ring if I could just it, I would I would play Elden Ring without all the other cheats. As long as I was able to play with like the unlimited stamina. Because the unlimited stamina just makes the game so much more fun. Baby, first boss down of the game. What? What? And it only took us 18 minutes. All right. Oh. Oh no! 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 Oh God! No! My fucking remote is deciding to be a piece of shit. Come on. Oh, thank God. Well, that sucks. We, I know how to get to that. That's not until, like, super later in the game. Or not later, but, like, later on. Running back to where my remote died on me. We don't need to craft them or grab them to craft. I want them to craft. 
Now, just because we have the no uh, the, the ignore crafting materials doesn't mean we have we don't need to go find them. Um, we have to have the crafting recipes in order to use them. So, it, I, all, all it means is that as long as we have the crafting recipes, we can craft anything. So, we will be trying to grab all of the crafting recipe books. Strength. All right. So now most people will tell you when they go through this first area not to mess with this right here. Don't 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 go in there. Well, we're gonna go in there first and just get it over with because I hate waiting to deal with it. Um. As soon as we get uh, one of the first weapons we will be using, I mean, I can open it right now. And it, it says stone, stone sword key was lost, right? But if I go to my inventory and I go to keys, I have 99 of them. I can go in there right now and run all the way through it, no problem. We're not gonna do it right now, we're gonna do it later, or in a little bit, but we're still gonna do it. All right, so the next boss that we're gonna fight is gonna be the Tree Sentinel. I'm just gonna take him out right here, right now. He's not very hard when you have unlimited stamina and unlimited heals. <laughs> not gonna lie. We won't be talking to Varro. Um, yeah, you know, we'll talk to Varro just because. Oh, uh, blah, blah, blah. The unfortunate outgun you are fake. All right, let's go fuck with that tree sentinel. I want his... So, part of the 100% drop rate, most bosses will drop their weapons unless they are designed to drop them. They'll drop them anyways, so... Come here, buddy. I was just trying to do this with my freaking Dex character, and I was having the hardest time possible. And over here, just because I got a shield, I'm taking one hit this whole fight. <laughs> little hot swap right there for you. Oh, did we die? We didn't die, oh my god.
Oh. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Oh, half my health. Oh, he got me. He got me. I should have left my sword out. If I had left my sword out, we wouldn't have had this much problems. Let's do this again. We got this. We got this. We got this. See, like I said, we won't be grabbing our runes. They won't be happening. Ignore the Badeeps. My friend is texting me. Trying to parry him. Oh! He killed me again! Ow! So I know where I gotta go to get my horse and do all that stuff. I mean, I, like I said, I've, I've beaten the game. I've pretty much beaten the game. I just, I've always wanted to kill the Tree Sentinel before doing all that. So, this will be happening. Twenty-eight, thirty-nine. No, I just really hope I'm be able to kill him this game. Kind of makes me upset that we can't. I'm gonna scroll back up so you guys can see that really quick. All right, all right. I got a minute to kill him. We got this. that because he just one shot at us pretty much uh we will be continuing on in the next episode uh, i will be, uh, be doing the same introduction i did for the last for this episode with the next episode because it took me 10 minutes so um i will just simply announce that this is a let's let's play hacked uh and we will be moving forward from there so i will catch you all in the next episode of elden ring let's play hacked this is Red Rays Rider, signing off.